Well, everyone, today is uh, March 19, 2011, and we opened the greenhouse. If you remember, the plastic was down a few days back, and we rolled it up, and we opened up the whole thing. Still have room, <laughs> but next week we have lots and lots of perennials coming. So perennials and some more, uh, super, a lot of super tunias. I want to show you, I got some really, really nice mandevillas and dipodenia plants that I put in gallons. These are going to be fantastic. We got the Alice DuPont, the Red Fury, and the Red Riding Hood. But look at them all. Lots of them. So I'm excited. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you that <laughs> what we did today. This whole section is, is pretty full. As I go, there's going to be a lot of things that we'll have to put down on the floor until things start moving. So there's my plants. We'll talk to you on the next video. Show you some plants close up once they get going a little better. We received snow overnight, as you can see. Looks like a lot of it's mostly melted already. I think we had two or three inches last night. Um, today's kind of cloudy, but not bad. It's um, in the 30s. I'm going to show you a few things in the greenhouse today. A cloudy day so I have to be I won't be watering a lot today but I did water a little bit um, I'm also just doing some trimming today and the reason I do trimming is to keep the plants nice and full I got a lot of plants that are wanting to bloom already but honestly I'd rather have they put their energy into the roots and the leaf formation before they start blooming so I have time yet to do some trimming I'm gonna take you around to a few plants that I'm working on that I'm doing some trimming here in the greenhouse today and and the reason is very simple to promote new growth and to, to make a better bigger plant for when May comes the plants will just be gorgeous so let's get started okay these are the caliber colas as you can see there's some blooming already and what I've done on this flat here already as I trim them way back these guys grow like mad when they get start when they get going they get some heat, they just go crazy, but I try to, I want to hold them off a little bit. I want them to fill that pot with leaf foliage before they start blooming. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll go around and, and just trim these back. I'll trim them back. And some people think I'm crazy, but honestly, it makes such a best, better, nice plant when I start, when I open. So that right there is going to come off. And let's go, we got a lot of little callies here. All these callies will be trimmed. I could show you some really pretty ones right now. There's the red. Red's really showing off. But I, they're not going to be there for long. Uh, I think we have we had some other. We got the purple. But these all need some work, and I'll have time to do that yet. I'm also working on the euphorbias. Can you see a difference between these here? and this whole section down here. I already trimmed a lot of these, took the blossoms off. This is, looks like a really spindly plant. This is a diamond frost euphorbia, it's a proven winner. But it always does really well if I'll take and do a trim on it. One haircut and just let it go, then it fills in. I don't even know if I trimmed them last year, but I just like the look of them a lot better if I trim them. So all this, I just pulled this up like so and I'll just cut that right off, okay? Don't need the blooms right now. Um, we need the growth in the foliage, so that is something that we do. Okay, here's the garias. Have you guys seen the Caroline Petite Pink Garia? This is the most attractive plant that I've seen uh, because of the foliage color plus the pink blossoms. But here's the deal. See this right here? That's gonna be blooming pretty soon. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be trimming that back, same as this one. I'm gonna be trimming a lot of these back because, again, you know the reason. They look nicer. I have a lot of these um, Goldilocks rocks, Bidens, which are really, they got a lot, a lot of buds on already. Look at that pretty one back there. I'm gonna take and try to trim a few off so this fills in a little better. It's just, you know, I have time to do that. And uh, a lot of people don't realize, you know, a little maintenance goes a long ways when you're growing. 
So these here, I don't have to really trim back. These are the best blue Lorienta. Don't really have to trim them. I didn't last year. Here's a new uh, snowstorm pink Bacopa. I already trimmed these back. As you can see, I kept them nice and full. Uh, Bacopa white snowstorm and also the Bacopa pink. Here's a little light pink. I trim them off so they come in nice and full. The white one's blooming, but I'll take and trim some of these sections. Some of these sections will be cut off so it promotes some nice new growth. The, right here is the trailing verbena, which I already cut back when we uh, planted them because I had some that were really strung out and I like to keep them balanced in look. I like to have them balanced. So if I got one that takes off and just starts going like mad on one side of the plant, I'm gonna trim it off and balance it out. It's gonna look a lot better. So these have been done already, but honestly, I'll probably have to do them again. But that's the tap tapian uh, verbena, trailing verbena. Very nice, very nice plant. But those are some of the things that I must cut and trim to promote some really beautiful growth. Um, I'm going to show you what I potted yesterday. These are the agaves variegata. What do you think of those? These were in my patio all winter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love them. I put them in gallon pots and I think they're just going to be a hit. I hope they are. You know, I just adore them. So that's the agave variegata. Yesterday we got all of our perennials in and they're all right here. They're all transplanted. And we got a lot, a lot, a lot of Corbels, uh, Jacob's Ladders. Look how small they are right now. These will fill the pot in no time. Uh, I've grown them before. I got them in five inch pots and they just do wonderful. But those are all perennials across there, across here, and over here. As you can tell, here's a sweet tea. Cucurella, uh, not much to them right now, but boy, this is a fantastic plant. Grew them last year. So we got a lot of hookera perennials because that is one thing I want to specialize in. Uh, we got the gold heart, dicentra, bleeding heart. Uh, very tiny yet, very tiny. I don't know if these are even going to be big enough this year, so we'll just have to see. I have some in the ground that I can dig up that never have been sold. So they can go if these don't make it in time. Um, we have the, a, a new quills and thrills, echinacea. The plants don't look a little happy right now because when they came in, they were all bent over. But what I'm gonna probably do here is, if these don't straighten out, I'll just take, and I'm probably gonna just trim them because honestly, they'll just, they'll promote new growth anyway. So we got some that need trimmed. Uh, moonshine pomeria nice very nice uh, the common name is Bethlehem, Bethlehem sage these are also called lungwort very pretty pattern in the leaves uh, more of a shade plant I haven't had them much so we'll see how they do uh, they are a perennial right here we have some hot summer comb flowers right there orangish yellowy we'll see how these go you know this is an echinacea, too. It's a beautiful plant. But as you can see, I got a lot of perennials. <clears throat> I see perennials are right here. They got, they're actually way behind, but they'll come around. I, that's why I put them in small pots, because they will be a smaller, a smaller plant. So, but they're coming. You know, they're, they're getting there. So there's a little bit today of maintenance on the greenhouse plants, uh, trimming, and just showing you a few unique plants that I have. All right, this is Diane at the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. I hope you got to see some things today. Uh, I love this time of year, but I do not like our weather. If we can get our weather a little bit more, a little bit warmer at nights, everything will be happy and it'll come in time. So as you can see around you, I got a lot, a lot of plants. Next week, we just have some succulents coming and a few perennials, but most, that most of my plants will be here except for what's in the house yet. I have to bring a lot out yet that I've grown from seed. So there's gonna be a lot more to show you. Once this gets full and we get all the baskets up and 
everything starts blooming really pretty, I'm definitely going to show you around a little bit more. So we'll see you then. And we'll see you on the next video. And take care. Bye.